M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. Just playing around with this clone SDR 1.0. They're about I don't know 75, 80 pound, and it, they cover it covers several several bands, including airband, HF, six meters. Oh, it just goes on broadcast radio, but it's it is a budget device, and I thought I'll quickly connect the audio output because it has a headphone socket and it, it does have a built-in speaker it the, the whole thing is made of metal it's quite nice you know for the price i th i think it's quite nice quality for eight you know let's call it 80 pound um so no complaints about the quality it's a 4.3 inch screen and it's fun and i've been here all morning listening to hf and my favorite radio stations but i connected the audio out to my pc and connect, fired up wsjtx and it's decoding FTA, it's not amazing, but it is decoding some signals here on the left. You can see the green signal coming in there, which I could probably boost in the in this in the speaker settings. If we go to headphone here, just pressing the button, and if I up it, I might be able to increase it or not. Not really sure. I'm trying, but uh, it is receiving. That that was the main thing. I'll just quickly show you. The setting that I changed, I just went file setting. Of course, you can't transmit; it's just receive only. And audio, I just selected the USB audio device on input and output. And um, but when the one here on the left, the green one, starts to appear, that's when you can start to uh, decode FTA. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. The other thing I noticed about this is that you to get it into. I'll just show you lastly firmware mode and you can see we've got an error there now of course now I'll make a video but anyway let me just show you the firmware mode plug a USB-C into the bottom port the other USB which says 5 volt out I've noticed that when you plug 5 volts into it even if the device is turned off it comes on so it does actually power it but the smaller USB-C is the one that interfaces with your PC so if we turn it off maybe there's a trick to this to actually make it work well and then press the black button here and turn on it says here on the screen that it's now in you know it says here bootloader version 1.4.03 attaching the device to the PC via USB-C it appears as a removable disk which it doesn't at the moment um, but I'll show you what it does appear as if we go right click on our device manager here device manager and then go where is it there it is there US unknown USB device device descriptor request fail that's what it actually says it must work somehow because they have to program these. They don't. They have to program them up. Maybe they program the problems before they put assemble. I suppose. Um, but there must be a way. I, I reckon there's a special driver. We just need that driver. So I'll keep researching and see what I can find. But yeah, having fun tinkering with it. It's got a built-in speaker. It's a metal case. And if I just turn it off and on, like so, and just go to normal sideband. Turn up the volume a bit. I have found it works fine. Don't plug all these cables, it's aren't helping, are they? Let's get the volume up. And then tune. It was busy earlier. You can actually adjust the scope. Changing the colour. Yeah, yeah, absolutely now. Yeah, I'll say oh. seven three. I'm, I'm going to go and have another cup, cup, cup of coffee. And uh, oh, that's interesting. 
interesting. Okay, well, I'll keep the call sign on the side, and um, I'm, having <laughs> I'm having trouble with uh, this dark side because um, for some reason my, uh, my internet provider thinks that they're uh, an obscene, <laughs> obscene site, so I can't get onto them. I've got to, I've got to adjust my settings. I've still got them on the you can change the colours and everything on the screen. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best. Having fun.